A Fox urgent now and prosecutors in Virginia say the suspect in the disappearance of 18 year old Hannah Graham now faces rape charges in a separate case. That's according to local news reports. Prosecutors say 32 year old Jesse Matthew Jr. is now indicted in a 2005 rape case out of Fairfax, Virginia. We'll get you updates on that as they come in. Meantime, police say the, lo the month-long search for 18-year-old Hannah Graham is now a death investigation, technically, after crews found human remains a few miles from the University of Virginia campus. Investigators say they're still waiting for forensic scientists to officially ID those body parts. Police say they found the skull and bones on Saturday, that completely reduced to skeletal remains, and this was the spot, Walnut Creek Park. And if you look here, it's not very far outside uh, the city of Charlottesville. This is about 12 miles. Searchers say they also found a, black, a pair of black pants close by, similar to the clothing that Hannah Graham was wearing the night she disappeared. So investigators think this is, they're probably onto it here. But they do say that Matthew was the last person to see Hannah. I say Matthew, this suspect. He reportedly grew up in the area where crews say they may have found her body. Well, they found skeletal remains and just can't know yet. We're dancing all around this like they think it's some sort of mystery still. They do not. They think they've got this. Now they're waiting for the technical ID. It's also near the spot where another missing student's body turned up back in 2010. Cops say forensic evidence also links this person to that case, although prosecutors haven't yet filed any charges. Her name, Morgan Harrington. She was a Virginia Tech student who disappeared on a trip to Charlottesville. Criminal defense attorney Diana Eisman joins us now. And she's live with us uh, from the West Coast. Diana, uh, now not one, but two. And it sounds like they found these remains. It sounds like it, yes. Uh, there is some information that the decay or the decomposition of the body is inconsistent in the length of time that Hannah Graham has been missing. But all signs point to that this is likely Hannah Graham. And there is certainly a lot of circumstantial evidence connecting Matthew with both of these crimes. And I think that prosecutors are being very careful here in how they're classifying this as a death investigation rather than a murder investigation. They first have to determine that it is in fact Hannah Graham. And then once they do that, they'll have to determine the cause of death and then link Jesse Matthew to Hannah Graham to basically declare that you know he is eligible for being charged with murder uh, in her case, as well as if there is any other forensic evidence that would link him to the other young girl who was found in the almost the exact same area, uh, then they would do that as well. It's my understanding there's DNA from that. If the skeletal remains are such that they need it, there's some clothes nearby, they may be able to find some DNA there. Along the way, this man Matthew has not been cooperating very much, has he? Definitely not. He's been evasive. They had to go and track him down. They had to originally arrest him for uh, reckless driving or some other unrelated offense. And then ultimately, they were able to bring him back to Virginia to face these charges. Hmm. Uh, linking him to the Virginia, Tech, uh, the Virginia Tech student, that would turn out to be two separate cases. They'd be tried separately. You would think that this new case with fresher evidence, fresher testimony, uh, fresher in the minds of the police would be an easier one for prosecutors and then they might go that way first. Yes, it would be. It would obviously make more sense for them to try the case that has new evidence that obviously where they can check DNA. Um, but what might happen is they might find out something about his M.O. or something about the way in which he commits these murders, if in fact it is him committing these murders, that would help to piece together some missing evidence from the older case. And that might help investigators and prosecutors wrap up that case as well. Mm, let's hope. Diana Eisman with us from uh, Los Angeles this afternoon. Thank you.